What's Whoa. up, everybody? It's your boys, Jim and Juice, and we are back at it again. And we got a little comparison video today. The Obsidian Basketball 2021, but we got an FOTL box and then a regular hobby box. Now, the regular hobby box was about like 350 and then I think this one was like 450 with tax yep. and everything. So it's about probably around like a $100 difference. So is it worth waiting and paying a little bit more for the FOTL box and try to get that at a good price or just stick with hobby? All right, let's get into the hobby box first. Ooh, the hobby so box. the only difference is the parallels in there will be like one number to possibly three or to 25 because i think those are the fotl exclusives yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so okay well i see. wish you nothing but the best my friend uh yes how i i know you had some openings with it so uh well you guys will have to either look back or yeah look forward we to did a couple of videos um a couple of boxes i opened up we're not the best. I did get a Kate Cunningham RPA out of 15. Do you have a cover? Uh, do we have a cover? Is, like of course we have a cover. We use that Jalen Waddle. Nah. Or the Venom sketch card? $5. It's 500, there we go. We'll 500. 500 points, baby. All right. There we go. Are you ready? I hope. I hope. You got two thickies, so hopefully one of them's an RPA. I hope so too. All right, first off the bat, we have Buddy Healed. I love these cards, they're so beautiful. Got a nice Obsidian Buddy Healed. Second card is, oh. we got Kevin Garnett. The big ticket. From the T-Wolves. The big ticket. Perfect, beautiful. All right, next one. Oh, Lamello Ball. Second year Lamello. Oh, Lamello. 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 La Too much metal. La and Ball. Uh, it's off center. Panini quality control. Yep. All right, we'll start with the back two. Yep. Hey, nice uh, Larry Bird there. Larry Legend. Ooh, and Jokic Magnitude. So let's see. This one's 20 out of 50. Orange, Larry Bird. And that should, is that pink uh, or red? Mm, let's see. Ooh, two out of five. So That's maybe red. red. It's red. Nice little red Jokic. Not bad. All right. Not a bad box. Our first, I guess, potentially so, two autographs. Yeah. So let's see this one. Ooh, Ooh okay, see, we got 33 out of 49. Wow. Trey Mann, okay. Oh, Trey Mann good. of OKC. Got the nice uh, sticker auto. He stayed a little bit off there. And then his blue chony. The blue chonies. Okay, not bad. Trey Mann, 33 out of 49. So I do have thick sleeves. I'll get them a second. All right, and our second one is... Sideways, okay. Let's see if we can see the numbering 28 out of 99. Okay, and it is Play another rookie. Oh, hey, there you go, Chris. Good boy, Chris, <laughs> rookie, nice little navy choney for the Pacers. No bag. So, you've got two rookie horizontal RPAs. That's pretty cool. That's pretty good. All right, not bad. Okay, so for a big rookie. Massive rookie coming. Let's hope so. If I can open the box. There we go. Ooh, that's kind of thick. Does it feel, does it look thicker than to the other me, one? a little bit. Hopefully you get two more patches. There's two thick cards in here. Let's go. Don't know what they are. Beep, beep, beep. Wow. I know, right? Those might be like the well, vertical RPAs. Maybe, let's hope. All right, our first card is a DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre Hunter. Nice little base DeAndre. No sneaky peekies. No sneaky peekies. All right, ooh. These cards are so slippery. Ooh, hey, Jonathan Kaminga, rookie. Is that your boy? Base. 
I mean, it's always nice to get a, a notable rookie, right? Fair point. Fair point. Hmm. All right, and the last base, Bojan. Bojan Bogdanovich. There we go. For the Utah Jazz. The back. Not sure. You might have back three, actually. Maybe. We got a nice Zach Levine tunnel vision. So that might be your. Oh. oh. Is that blue? It's, it's blue. I think that might be the FOTO exclusive. <laughs> Cadavius Cadwell Pulp. It is, yep, the one out of 16. Okay. Darius Pulp. And that should be paint. And then 61 out of 75. Yeah, or purple. Yeah, purple tunnel vision. That's uh, I don't know, did you, I think the tunnel visions used to be like, die, like yeah, rounded they, off. I've noticed with this year's Obsidian that the pitch blacks, the tunnel vision, they kind of got rid of the die cuts. Mm. There's only, a, I don't even, I actually, do you think that's better in terms of the way the card will grade, or do you, do you like I think having it's those? better. I think it's better for where the card will grade, but it, it ru ruins the flair, in my opinion. I do like the, the little die cuts and yeah. the um, extra little flair. All right. Here we go with the first. Here. Yeah, I got another you. one. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Got me. Slide this in oh. here. Ooh. What's that? Purple. Both are gonna be horizontal. Ooh, three out of sixteen. Okay. Okay. That's so this good. might be one of the um, FOTL autos. Come on. Oh, hairline. Can we guess? Ooh, Ooh Charles Bassey. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful patch. That is a nice auto and a very beautiful patch. Let's hope the next guy is better. For us, the 76ers. It's your boys. The 76ers. It's your boys. <laughs> it's your boys. All right. That's still a pretty sick patch. That is a sick patch. You're going to be excited with this. What? Well, I see purple. Low numbered, I think. Okay, oh. again, it's it this way. Oh, Ooh, one, one out of five. Two, two, five. King rookie. Yes. Oh, Davion Mitchell. Oh, Let's go. wow. One out of five. Oh, look at that patch. Jeez. That is so sick. Wow. Well, dang. I think we know which wow. one's so, better. So, out of both boxes, we managed to get rookie. Rookie autos, uh, patch autos, but it we got the, close. I mean, out of five and out of 16 versus a, what, like a 49 and a 99? Yeah. But geez, Louise. Wow, that is gorgeous. These are gorgeous patches. Look at the three yeah. color, three color. I mean, wow. I mean, hands down, I think it's easy to say that probably... The FOTL boxes are a better buy, and lately they haven't been going as expensive as you know you would think. You right. know, they tend to get pretty low, and they're almost not that much more expensive than the hobby boxes when they launch. Mm -hmm. Over the last couple of things we've seen, but you got yours from Panini, Panini direct through their Dutch auction program. So, how much did you pay for that? So I think it, it's it the price I bought it was like four hundred something, and then shipping and taxes made it about like four fifty. So and you paid probably what three fifty for this box for the hobby. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, not too bad. More. But the resell, we'll put resell uh, value up yeah. for the FOTL because here's the thing, everybody out there can go on Panini's website and follow these auctions, and when they happen, as long as you're by a computer or your phone. You, you can buy it at you don't need whatever. A, like yep. you, do, you don't need a, a special account or anything. It counts free. You can get these boxes for those prices. It's crazy. People just don't know. Yeah. It's just the secondary market. Everything is overinflated. Yeah. So that's why it may not be worth trying to open this on a secondary market price. But if you can snag it on... Uh, on, on release day where they do the Dutch auctions, it I mean, might actually be worth the gamble. Yeah, 450 and you got a patch out of five, five and, and a patch 16. out of 16. Yeah. Plus you you also got a couple, now granted they're not the best, but I mean if, if this Pope out of 16 was a, a better player, 
I mean, that would have been more icing. Maybe the if cake. the Kaminga was one of the uh, numbered yeah. ones and no. things like that, you might end up working out pretty good. But I good. mean, this is phenomenal. You yep. made your money back there, I assume. Well, not well, not really for this guy, right. but for the Mitchell. Yeah. Mitchell's a, a solid. It'll definitely person. help me get most of my sure. value back. You might so. not make your value back. And here's here's the thing too. A lot of people are like, when you open it up, the the crappy thing is you got to take for you know into caution of how much it costs to get graded and then what the value of the card is after it's graded because mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. that's where a lot of your i guess meat left on the bone is is actually yep. at um but it's gonna it's always difficult all this stuff is a gamble man it you is but gotta be careful if you can get it for the right price it it lessens the pain oh for sure mm -hmm. that's for sure all right let us know what you think in the comments down below was the fotl box a better buy in this case and do you think fotl boxes in the future will be a better buy but until then and deuces